where she thinks we're going to get to that in a second. Right. Uh, John, I thought I was hip because I listened to my 14-year-old, but uh, give me what this Game Salad thing is. Is he using it already? So, Game Salad is a platform for writing video games. Okay. So, but what's unusual is it's the first platform out there where you don't use lines of code. You drag and drop objects. And so an 8-year-old or 10-year-old can write a game, but half a million developers are using it. And 20% of the games on iOS last year were written using Game Salad. And how does this change the balance? When you say content, I always think the opposite of that is distribution. Right. So is content now going to get more market cap, more capital, gravitating to content away from distributors now? Over a long period of time, I think so. What's going to happen is the content producers are moving from media companies to individuals. And whether it's a photographer in India who takes a great photo and it's available on 500px, or it's a, it's a kid who has a great idea for a game and then just has the tools available to write them, that's what's happening. Or you on Facebook. Right. When you post something up there, you're creating content. Okay. Uh, we're going to get to this cool thing in just a minute, but give me one cool thing before that. Before, we're going to get to this mind-controlling the Mac, right. but give me one cool, other cool thing before that. Um, so, uh, gosh, I'm just looking at different companies. We've got a lot of cool things. Take crowdfunding. Okay. Right? So crowdfunding is the ability for people to actually care with their wallets. Right. And so Indiegogo is the world's largest crowdfunding platform. People from 70 countries every day are uh, voting with their wallets and backing 6,000 different campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's kind of amazing, whether it's, do you remember the story of Karen Klein, this bus monitor that was teased awfully a few months ago? Um, a guy called Max said, hey, this is wrong. He posted the video that was on Reddit up on Indiegogo and said, let's, let's raise $5,000 for vacation for Karen. $703,000 later, she had a hell of a vacation. Talk to me about cloud a little bit. So cloud, cloud measures everything we're doing. So as we're right. doing more stuff online, we're creating footprints around what we're doing. And then you can put that together, analyze it, mm -hmm. and reduce everything down to a simple score. So I call cloud a dandruff company. Before there was dandruff shampoo, nobody cared about dandruff. Suddenly people cared. Before there was cloud, no one cared about the, cared about the cloud score. Now people do, and they care about the what can I do to sort of take that up? But what it's doing is allowing you to understand strangers. And so call centers, nightclubs, uh, hotels are using this as a way to understand their clientele and what services they want to provide. Because the higher your cloud score, the more influential you are. John, how, how do you make money? How, how's money made in this game? Well, how I make money is I find a really fascinating team three, four people who have a great idea that want to change the world, and we give them money, mm -hmm. and we wait 10 years, and then we get paid out. And I'll give you an example, Cornerstone On Demand, mm -hmm. uh, which I think its last quarter had billing growth of 78% year over year. Subscription growth or fee for games, or how, is, how do well, they go Cor better? Cornerstone is a SaaS business. Yeah. Uh, we have 10.3 million enterprise seats globally. We have 1,100 clients, uh, ticker CSOD. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a great company. I originally invested in 2002 when there were four people in the room. At the end of the year, with six clients. They now have 700-plus employees. John, let's get to this thing that's on Becky's head here. And okay. What is Becky doing, and what, uh, what, what's the